Um, welcome back to another episode of Guy Interviews. And we're here with Jason today. Um, he's kind of the big deal at TNL. Um, so Jason, do you want to introduce yourself to the people? I'm Jason. I'm one of the river managers at True North Outpost. I mainly do rafting, raft guiding at the gorge. You also do a lot of kayaking. Yes, I do a lot of whitewater kayaking. That is my true passion. Yeah, I've, I've seen him and he's pretty crazy out there. Um, how long have you been kayaking on the rivers? Uh, true whitewater kayaking about seven or eight years. I started okay. about 10 years ago okay. um, and it's just progressed from there. I don't know, I guess promoting other places besides um, where we're at right now. Um, which is by Pierce Gorge, which is where the rafters that we take out on the river go. Um, are there any places in the area that you would recommend to people as far as like kayaking still um, water or like rapids or? Um, obviously my true interest is just the white water aspect of it. Mm -hmm. um, I started with obviously flat water and it's just progressed from there. Um, the whole UP, the whole UP is my yeah. playground basically. I have no specific places. Um, there's my favorite places like Presque Isle, uh, Montreal Canyon, the Sturgeon Canyon. Those are all some of my favorite spots to go to. So you mentioned you've been kayaking for around like 10 years. Yep. Um, how long have you been guiding uh, rafting trips? Uh, five years ago I came up here and trained with Northwood Adventures. Um, and last year was my first time actually doing this full time. This is my whole summer gig. Okay. Uh, this is my life up here during the summer. What other hobbies besides rafting and kayaking do you uh, have or are interested in, interests that you have? Uh, it's been expanding through the years. It's all the adventure sports. Now it's now I'm getting back into mountain biking. I used to do a lot of mountain biking 15 years ago. That's starting to take off again. Um, rock climbing now. This year is sort of my introduction to it. I'm getting into that, buying all my equipment, finding places to go. What about this lifestyle, um, you know, living in a tent, um, mm -hmm. re guiding trips, the whole adventure aspect of your life. What about this lifestyle really like drew you in and you decided, yeah, I, I, this is what I want out of life. There's not a worry in life when I live it like this. It's, it's a beautiful thing. I live in a tent for five and a half months out of the year. Um, Which we, we will be touring <laughs> at some point, so stay tuned um, for that episode um, coming out shortly. It's just how I want to live, basically, like I tell the guys at the shop, uh, this is my retirement plan. I'll be back here every year for guiding and living up on Nate's Hill and living the, okay. the tent style. Cool. Now, I know a lot of people probably wouldn't find this um, way of life um, comfortable, um, but for a lot of people, especially our rap guides, this is the way that it you is guys our way live. Of life. Is there a couple aspects of this way of life that maybe you don't like so much, or you wish that you, you know, could have uh, more hot showers, or? Oh, of course, like the, amen the amenities. If we had running water up there, and we didn't hike up our water every day, and hike up every supply we needed up a 200-foot bluff, yeah, that would be nice. But uh, in the end, it's. I really don't mind it. It's, mm -hmm. it's worth it's it. Part of, <laughs> it's part of the lifestyle. Yeah. That's what we have for you today, guys. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the interview with Jason. Um, and stay tuned for more episodes with more raft guides being interviewed. We'll see you next time. Bye.